Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Wednesday the 18th of September 2013 and today we're looking at videos of Comet Ison. This is a quick search on YouTube for videos of Comet Ison and let's see what we can find. We see videos such as this one, Comet Ison debris hitting the earth now, NASA preparing. Is Ison a comet? New images. This is from BP Earthwatch whose video we found the other day where he claimed to show a, uh, the latest image of Comet Ison was actually a picture of a galaxy instead. Comet Ison, what do the government and professional astronomers know that they aren't sharing with us? And then there's this one. It turns out Comet Ison is Planet X, Nibiru. Most human life will not exist after January 2014. And of course we see these images that we've seen before of the winged planet and this one here showing uh, Comet Ison in three parts which of course is due to parallax. Ison cover-up may not be a comet, part one. Comet Ison debris hitting the earth. And so it goes on and on and on. Pages and pages of it. But hang on a minute, haven't we heard this all before? Let's just go back a couple of years. Does anyone remember Comet Alanin? Ah, Comet Alanin. What results do we get for Comet Alanin? Now this was in 2011. Comet Alanin or something else. NASA preparing for outside threat 2011. Comet Alanin is affecting Earth. Comet Alanin mystery. The complete story of Comet Alanin and YU-55 which was an asteroid. Nibiru, Planet X, Comet Alanin, there is something on its way for sure. Yeah. Certainly turned out like something, didn't it? It fizzled as it went round the sun. And of course, here is our favourite little image of the winged planet Nibiru. And again, pages and pages and pages of it. I've just got to take you to page two before we stop though, because here's my favourite one. This is Clever Trevor. Alexander Retrov, his real name is Trevor John Alexander, he called himself Alexander Retrov, and of course he predicted that uh, in uh, September of 2011 there were going to be magnitude 15 earthquakes and the whole Pacific was going to go under and part of Australia was going to go under and there was going to be three days of darkness and all the water was going to evaporate and people would be fried with gamma radiation he told us. Now does that sound familiar? Does that sound like something that Patrick Patty Brassard has been telling us lately? Three days of darkness, magnitude 15 earthquakes. Patty Brassard is simply recycling the same old nonsense that Alexander Retrov was spouting two years ago in 2011. And Comet Alanin came and went, in fact it fizzled as it went round the back of the sun. But people seem to forget these things. And the objects that they claim are Planet X, Nibiru, end up disappearing, like um, YU-55 and DA-14 and Comet Alanin and all the rest of it. And then of course they find a new object, Comet Ison. Now Comet Ison will come and go, and if it survives its journey around the back of the sun, it'll be heading out of the solar system. Hopefully we'll be getting a good view of it as, as it goes through. So we won't see three days of darkness and we won't see magnitude 15 earthquakes and we won't see all these things that people are predicting with pole shift and all this sort of nonsense. And people will attack me and call me a government paid disinformation shill and all this nonsense. And then they'll forget about Comet Ison and then they'll find a new comet to pick on or a new asteroid to pick on. And then they'll turn out more videos about conspiracies and catastrophes and disasters and pole shift and oh it goes on and on and on and this time next year they will still be making videos and I'll still be debunking them and they'll still be calling me a paid disinformation shell so for those people who are going to leave nasty comments underneath this video how about you come back again you can make your comments but you come back again in a year or even six months time and explain to us why all these events that are supposed to be happening aren't happening and then we can talk again. 
As always, check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. I'll put a link for you in the description area. Thank you for watching.